they didn't know that there was ever going to be a second world war. And so this is the town hall in Rock Hill. And he enlisted in Mississippi in 1943. And he actually enlisted in the Army Corps, but then he switched into the Army Air Corps. And this is Enolia Gay, and that was the, um, the B-29. B-29 that dropped Little Boy, which was an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Um, when he was in the Army Air Corps, later known as the Air Force, he flew in B-29s. His job as the flight engineer, and this is the panel that he worked at, um, was to know the mission, how many bombs they were taking, and the bombs could weigh up to 20,000 pounds each, and they had um, several bombs on board. And um, the distance they were flying, calculate the gas they needed and make sure there was enough gas to coordinate this data with the pilot, inspect the plane before takeoff, and if something went wrong during the flight, he'd have to crawl to where the problem was and he'd have to fix it while they were in air. Um, these are facts about B-29s. Um, they could fly at 31,850 feet and could drop bombs from that height, which had never been done before. And they could fly up to 300 miles per hour. The B-29 was the first pressurized plane, and that made it um, made it able to make commercial airplanes so we could travel in air without having to have oxygen. Um, the B-29 flight crews stationed on Guam, which is where he was stationed, they mainly flew at night bombing missions and dropped incendiary bombs. And those bombs, they are supposed to cause fires, and they burned almost all of the important cities in Japan. Um, the B-29 Enolia Gay dropped the first ever atomic bomb called Little Boy on Hiroshima. And the B-29 airplanes are credited mm -hmm. for ending World War II. And I said earlier that one bomb could weigh up to 20,000 pounds. And this is a view from a B-29 cockpit. And um, this is actually in color. I don't know exactly where this is, but um, so that's the view from the cockpit and the pilot would sit right there and the flight engineer would sit right there. And this is a crew about to take off and this crew on the flight that they're about to take, they actually were shot down in the ocean and none of them survived. And this is the a bigger picture of the flight engineer panel, and it has um, all the coordinates on there. And this is a view into a plane, and these men, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but I think that they're trying to fix something on the plane, or they're inspecting it. And then this is a bigger <coughs> picture of an old gay in flight. This is a color picture of a B-29 that we found, and we just um, and we thought that it was cool that we could find a colored picture of one because all the pictures were black and white.